Hello. Hello. So this is our video on standards and protocols for ITGS. So what are standards and protocols first of all? Um, standards and protocols are technical rules and conventions that enable compatibility and therefore facilitate communication or interoperability between, between different IT systems and their components. Um, they might govern the design and use of hardware, software, and information. Now okay. on to Jason. <laughs> so for standards and protocols, there are many examples that, that can be used. For example, uh, ASCII, which is a communication protocol used on the internet. Um, among these, there are also many other uh, organizations for com that set these communication standards, such as the ISO, which is, stands for International Standards <laughs> Organization. Um, the ISO is a multinational body whose membership is drawn mainly from the standards, uh, from the standards creating community of various different governments in the world. Another example could be the Electronic Industries Association, the, um, which basically, and as well, <laughs> It's basically, it's basically like concerning the electronics manufacturers in the U.S. Okay. And then, yes. And then the third, I mean, the second type of protocols is communication protocols, and the examples are like PPP or HTTP or SMTP or Apple Talk or PTF. I mean FTP. <laughs> and yeah, and then there are many different examples which you can be seen somewhere. <laughs> In this link video link maybe and then later. the third type is network protocols um, yeah so, so there examples. for some examples could be virtual LAN or uh, root, uh, routing information protocol or, or RIP, RIP and quality of service or QOS <laughs> right now we're on to the advantages and disadvantages of, of, having of using standards these standards and, and protocols. protocols so number one so the advantages are um, if everyone follows the standard, then standard. yes, uh, then they would all be able to interconnect easily. And second is maintenance and installation become simplified due to a common underlying standard. Mm -hmm. And third one is a common, it creates a common benchmark for others to build upon. And lastly, uh, there's a widespread use encourages people to develop applications that comply with existing standards. Yes, so nice. those are the advantages. Um, disadvantages could include uh, that once a standard has been adopted by uh, worldwide or internationally, it will be very difficult to change uh, or modify any issues that are being identified with it. The second one would be that there will be a lesser focus on developing uh, newer techniques once a standard has been, or once or all organizations Organizations have started following. following a actual standard. The third is third disadvantage is that every standard has its own internet limitations. Um, so that so depending on the compatibility of your system, right, you might not be able to yeah, connect right. with other systems as well. Such as uh, uh, when you're using a Mac and a Windows uh, operating system. Right. Um, and the fourth disadvantage is if new techniques are discovered, it will be quite difficult to. Uh, incorporate or you or um, apply that to the current uh, s s system that are standards yes. that people are following right now. Right. So yes, those. This is our video for uh, standards and protocols. We hope you enjoyed and hope it was useful. Peace out. What?